Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can go about exploiting a vulnerable web application using command injection. Command injection is also known as OS command injection. It is an attack technique used to execute commands on a host operating system via a, a vulnerable web application. This lab demonstration, I'll be using one virtual install of Kali Linux and one virtual install of Metasploitable 2. Now it's important that these two machines be able to communicate with each other, so let's check their networking. To do this, I'm going to go up here to Devices. I'm going to go to Network, and from here I'm going to click on Network Settings. This is inside of my Kali. I'm going to ensure that my network is set to NAT Network for both machines. Go ahead and click OK to that. Now the next thing we want to do is ensure that both of these machines have an IP address that belongs to the same network. To do this, I'm going to bring up my virtual install of Minisploitable 2. I'm going to log on to it. Once I've logged on to it, I'm going to type in ifconfig at the command prompt, and I'm going to check my IP address. Currently, the IP address assigned to this installation of Minisploitable 2 is 10.0.2.11. That is my IP address. Your IP address may differ. Now the next thing we want to do is just go over to our Kali machine, bring up a terminal, and let's type in ifconfig. Hit enter. Now I want to check the IP address assigned to my Ethernet 0 on this virtual machine. Currently, the IP address assigned to this virtual machine is 10.0.2.9. That means that both of these machines are receiving an IP address from the same network block of IPs, and therefore they can communicate with each other. To further confirm that I have communication between these two devices, I can type in ping and the IP address of my Metasploitable 2 machine. Hit enter, and I get back positive responses. Go ahead and hit Control C to break out of that sequence. Now from my Kali machine, the next thing I want to do is open up a web browser. To do this, I'm going to go over here to my application launcher, and I'm going to click on where it says Web Browser. From here, I want to type in the IP address for Metasploitable 2. In this case, that would be 10.0.2.11. I hit enter, and I'm presented with the home page for my Metasploitable 2 server. I'm now ready to launch the damn vulnerable web application. This is called DVWA. I'm just going to double click it. Here I'm presented with a login page. The username is admin. The password is password, all lowercase. Go ahead and log in. Once you're over here, scroll on down to your DVWA security, and you're going to set it from high to low. Go ahead and submit. Once you've done that, you can now click on the link for the command execution page. In this example, I will be trying to use command injection by appending commands to the default allowed command, which in this case would be an IP address. It says ping for free, enter an IP address below. So if I enter the loopback address, for instance, and I hit submit, give it a second, it comes back and it gives me the positive replies, that would be the correct command and the correct response. But I want to exploit this capability by appending additional commands or characters to the end of my IP address. Let's see if I can do that. So to append additional characters or commands to an existing command, we use the ampersand. In this case, there's two of them. So I'm being allowed to use this character because I currently have this web application set to very low security. Now if I had it set to medium or if I had it set to high, those two characters, the ampersands, would probably not be allowed and that would be blocking my ability to execute command injection. But in this case, they are allowed. So if I type in the loopback address for this particular web server, and I type in ampersign, ampersign, followed by the ls command to list all directories and files that are currently associated with this account, we'll see what happens. And you see that once I run the command, I am given a list of all the files and directories that are associated with this user's account. Now continuing on with the exploitation of this web server using this command injection capability, again I can ping the loopback address, appersign, appersign, still using the ls command, give it a space, now I can type in la to see what permissions 
are assigned to these directories and files. I go ahead and hit submit to that. And we're given the information down here at the bottom. I can see from the return that I'm currently logged on as www-data. But if I didn't know that and I wanted to know who I was currently logged on as, then I could use the who am I command. For this, I'll just type in the loopback address, again with the ampersand, ampersand, and the who am I command. I'll hit submit. And you see down here at the bottom, again, it comes up and it gives me the results of my arbitrary command. I want to dig a little deeper into this web server and see if I can exploit the operating system. But I need to get that information about the operating system before I can start doing my research. So I've typed in 127.0.0.1, again the loopback address, a pipe, and followed that up with a uname. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. And it comes back and it tells me that I'm currently logged on using Linux. Let's see if I can get a little bit more information about the operating system by adding the dash A switch. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Now it comes back up and it tells me this is Linux Metasploitable and it gives me the version and some other information about the operating system. I want to continue on looking for more target opportunities on this web server. To do this, I'm going to check to see what current version of PHP is running on this machine. So I've typed in the loopback address, appersign, appersign, and again, the Unix command to check for the version of PHP that is currently running is just PHP-V. Give it a second, and it comes up and it tells me that currently I'm running a version of PHP 5.2.4 on Ubuntu 5.10, and it gives me the patch information. Now this is all good information that I need to know if I'm going to be looking for ways to exploit this web server. This next command is going to allow me to display all the users on the back end of this Linux server. So I've typed in the loopback address, appersign, appersign, cat, which means to show to the screen, space, forward slash, etc, forward slash, pass wd file. Now, what I'm saying is, Show me on the screen a list of all the users that are currently available on this Linux server. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. And it comes back and it gives me a, a list of all the current users that are available on this installation of a Linux server. The capability to use command injection via this particular web application is a result of code or arbitrary code not being validated. So if I was the programmer and I designed this using PHP, I would want to go in and block this arbitrary code from being allowed to run. Now back at the DVWA security page, if I change from low to high, then I probably won't be able to execute any of these arbitrary commands. Let's go ahead and try that. So now I'm going to return over to my command execution page. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that back in there. Now you'll see that when I launch this command, that is probably not going to work. And it says you have entered an invalid IP address because it's not allowing me to append any additional arbitrary commands to the end of the IP address. So you can see that depending on the security and the arbitrary code validation that is being screened at the web application will depend on whether or not that web application is vulnerable to command injection. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about exploiting a web application using command injection. Got any questions, got any concerns, don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.